you guys in today's video we're going to be buying some stuff right here from apple.com so let's get started on the top top 10 side you're going to see mac so if you were looking for a mac that's where you need to go or anything else up here so this is the official website from apple and from here you would choose what you want so let's start off with mac for example and we're going to take a look at all other macs up here you're going to see macbook air pro and so on so let's say we want the cheapest option which is a macbook air and then from here, on the top right hand side, you're going to see buy. Just click on buy. And finally, we can actually see the prices right now for each one of these. From here, we can just press select, depending which one we want to go for. But before we do anything like that, let's just sign in to your Apple ID or create an account at this point. So just go all the way up. You're going to see the shopping bag. So click on it. And from here, you're going to see account and sign in. So on the bottom, just make sure to sign in. That's the first thing you should do at this point in time. So I am signed in already. That's why it says sign out tech, because that's me. However, we're just gonna leave it there. Just make sure to create an account. I do have a separate video showing you guys how to make an account. Creating an account is very important because that's how you guys can keep track of your sheets and everything that you guys buy from Apple directly. So it's really good to make that account. Anyways. We're just going to go down to this thing and we're going to select which one we want. So in this case, we're looking at what comes out best. I don't suggest for most of you buying a MacBook Air with this much storage, even if you are a student, because you're going to run out of storage really fast. Unless you're paying already, maybe with Google or some other service to keep all your storage online, then that would be okay. Other than that, you should go for at least this one. For me, in my particular case, I don't need something with that much storage and that's because I'm going to keep everything on an external hard drive and that's why I'm going to select this option right down here. We're going to go ahead and select this. I do want to mention that for most of you, pickup might not be available at the moment. So you guys want to check availability if you guys need it right away. Other than that, you can see shipping is always free and it's one to two weeks. From my experience, it's only taking up to two weeks, especially right now with COVID but before it didn't take as long. If you customize your MacBook Air a lot, it might take longer. So we're gonna scroll down and just show you what I mean. So right now I can put up more memory in it for $225, I can put in 16 gigs. Yes, I know it's pretty pricey because if you put in your own RAM, it's gonna cost you a lot less. However, with these new Macs, it's very hard to do that. So I would just suggest to go up a little bit and you should be good from there. So I am gonna go up to 16 gigs. From here, we can also add some storage. Like I mentioned, most of you wanna go a step up in your storage. So let's say you guys choose that. Let's just scroll down and you're gonna see the type of keyword that you want. So just make sure it makes sense to whatever language you guys want. And we do have some pro apps that we can add for educational purposes. That might make sense for you guys. It depends, depends. So we're just gonna scroll down. It's gonna tell us exactly what comes in the box and that's all you guys get. Keep in mind that MacBook Airs and all new MacBooks, for that matter, even MacBook Pro, only have USB-C, Thunderbolt 3. Down here, you're gonna see this. You're gonna get Apple TV Plus for free for a year. And this is only a channel. I do have a separate video talking about that. However, if you guys bought a few Macs already or bought anything from Apple and already claimed your Apple TV Plus subscription for a year for free, you will not be able to get it again. <laughs> so in my case, I am not gonna get it again. So we're just gonna keep scrolling down and that would be it. Right now, at this point, we can just add it to our bag. If you change your mind about anything, you can always scroll up and just select something else. So let's say you guys really wanna keep those $225 and maybe the RAM, you guys also wanna go with the basics, it does drop down right here your price significantly. As long as everything looks okay, just click on add to bag. That's in the bottom right hand side. We're gonna add this to our bag. Once we're done with that, you can just see review bag. So let's just click on review bag. And at this point, it's very important for you guys to check all this out. So just scroll down and see that everything makes sense. If you guys wanna add Apple Care, right now is the time to do it. It's pretty good. I would actually suggest purchasing Apple Care Plus if you're gonna move your MacBook around a lot might be in danger of knocking it down or something like that, go ahead. If not, just keep scrolling down, put in your postal code just to see if you guys can pick it up anywhere or how much it's gonna be. Actually, shipping's free, 
but it's going to give you an estimate if you guys can pick it up anywhere. And from here, again, if you guys enter your postcode, you can go ahead and get that estimated tax and then just press on check out or check out with Apple Pay. So if you guys have anything else with Apple, maybe you guys have an iPhone, you guys can always check out with Apple Pay right now. However, in this case, we're going to assume you guys don't have another Apple device. We're going to go ahead and just check out. So it's in the bottom right hand side, check out. Once we click there, it's going to take us here. Just sign in for a faster checkout. Although we did create our account, it might ask you for this again. So just sign in. And I want to mention again, do not use guest checkout. It's better if you guys actually keep it tied to an Apple ID. That's exactly what we're going to do right now. So at this point, you might see these two options. I like it delivered, so it's going to be shipped to you. Most likely you're getting between a week and pick it up. That you can pick up most likely right away. Just make sure this right here, post code makes sense. So if that's your post code, that's good, or else click on it and change it right now. So if I scroll down just a little bit, I'm gonna see all my options for select a pickup location. So I can go ahead and select any one of these and select date and time to go and pick it up. However, as mentioned, you can always just select to have it delivered to you. So we're gonna select that first option. Once you select the first option, just scroll down a little bit see by when it's actually going to get to you. So that's about it. Standard shipping makes sense. I'm going to scroll down a little bit and we're going to continue to shipping address. From there, just make sure your address is fine and scroll down. You're going to see continue to payment. So we're going to go ahead and click right there. And from here, we can go on and choose credit card or Apple Pay once again. So it does give us that option still. So let's say you guys are new once again, we're going to select credit card. And from here, just fill in your credit card information. So here comes your credit card information up here, expiry date, the back of your credit card and as you keep scrolling down you're going to see your billing address so make sure everything's just fine and once you guys see everything that's fine all the way down bottom left hand side just review your order now before i do that i do want to mention for those of you who have apple pay we can always click on apple pay still it does give us that option so i'm going to show you that as well what you would need to do so we're going to click on apple pay right now once you click on Apple pay it's going to take you back here so from here, we can just review your order. You will see all your information. Just scroll down a little bit. And from here on the left hand side, you will see check this box right here. Just check right there. Should be good from there. Scroll down a little bit more on the bottom right hand side. You guys can go on to continue with Apple Pay. If you do that, you're going to see a message like so. So just pick up your iPhone or iPad and then just confirm it. You will see a screen on your iPhone or iPad where you have to double click to pay. Anyways, once you guys confirm everything, just go on to place order on the bottom right hand side. Just place your order and you are all done at this time. So you should be getting an email from Apple and we did do an express pickup by tomorrow. I did show you both ways, express pickup plus shipping. Anyways, for now we're done. Just make sure to keep that confirmation number, your order number, take a screenshot of it or print it out, do something with it just in case you don't receive the email. But for now, we are all done. It's the exact same steps whether you guys are buying an iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, MacBook, MacBook Pro, iMac, exact same instructions. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.